Hi, and welcome to a tech tip video on ANSYS Mechanical. For today's video, I'm going to be going over a feature in ANSYS Mechanical called the Object Generator. It's a feature that lets us do an automated process of creating duplicated bolt pretensions or contacts on various uh, solid objects. So here's an example. I have a bolt pretension set on one of these bolts and it's quite tedious to have to set the bolt pretension settings for each one of these bolts over here, the, all the other solid bodies. There are six total. ANSYS has a feature called the object generator and it allows us to duplicate this bolt pretension on each one of these bolts with a click of a button. So now you can see that I've created bolt pretensions for each one of these bolts and it copied the first setting. I can also do that with contacts. But first let's review how I set this up. I'm going to go over here to space claim and show you that I had to have pre-selected different surfaces. So which one, what are these surfaces? You have to do name selections so that the object generator can locate and find these contact pairs. So for example, the top flange, let me hide the other bodies. The top flange, I've created a name selection for each one of these surfaces where the washer is going to be making contact. And I've done the same for the bottom of the washer of these bolts. So what I like about space claim, it's easy to actually create name selections for uh, areas that are that it can search for throughout the whole assembly. And I'll show you how to do that. Let's say I want the surface area of the nut over here. And I want to create a name selection for each and every one of these surfaces on all the nuts. I'm going to head over to selection. I'm going to tell space claim to search all bodies. And now I can find faces with the same area. It's automatically selected all of these surfaces that have the same area. By going over to groups, I can create a new name selection just like that. So I've created name selections for every surface that's going to be coming in contact with one another. And I've done that so the object generator can find those. It's going to make more sense when I go over to ANSYS Mechanical. Over here, I have a contact for the nut to the bolt. And you can see in the contact body view and the target body view what those selections are. It's bonding the nut to the threaded area of the bolt. By clicking nut to bolt contact, I'm going to head over to the object generator and I'm going to select what is the contact. So in the bonded area, in the bonded details of the settings, you can see contact is the red surface. So that's going to be my threaded area. And then for the target body, it's going to be the nut. Let's see here, let's make sure it's the nut surface. Just like that, I've automatically created all the contacts. I'm going to do the same for top washer to top flange. So just make sure when you make your name selections, you give a good detail so you don't get lost and you know which one you're selecting. <laughs> surface top 
bottom flange, washer, bottom washer contact surface. So thanks to the object generator, it saved me a lot of time. I manually made these top four contacts and I duplicated them over to all the other bolts. It takes a lot of time to have to select each one of these surfaces and inserting a new contact. But now I have the whole process automated for me using the object generator. It's a pretty nice feature. you do not have access to ANSYS space claim. There's another way to create name selections. You could select the surfaces that you want to create a name selection for and right click create name selection. You can also have it search for all the surfaces with the same area. And give it a detailed name. And after a bit of solve time, I have my results from the bolt pretensioning.